Hello guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Today I want to uh, test my, uh, I'm going to use my boroscope to uh, look into my cylinders in, on my 2.7 uh, uh, Chrysler Sebring. Um, I've been using different boroscopes and um, I've never been very satisfied with it. Uh, some of these handheld units are just really, the resolution is pretty bad on it. Uh, I have one unit here that is just, I, I don't like it. So um, recently I was watching a video that Chris Fix, he was doing some uh, diagnostic on the head gasket. So he was using this um, uh, uh, DB powered uh, scope and I noticed actually it was, it was pretty good. This is the USB uh, scope, uh, like 20 bucks. Um, so I picked one up on uh, eBay and uh, this one has like a, it's a five meter long cable basically and uh, you hook it up to your uh, uh, computer and uh, on the screen you're gonna you know now the problem is uh, th this one is actually made also for like a, a smartphones um, so I got it on my on my computer but I, I couldn't really do the setup right so I guess you have to have a CD and a CD drive all the time so in order to work so I don't know so anyway so uh, for the longest time you know, I was trying to figure out how we can actually use a boroscope to see the valves. You know, with any scope, you can boroscope, you just, you know, go into your cylinder, you look the, look the piston, look the walls, but you can never actually look up to see the condition of your, of your, of your valves because it's just not possible. You cannot bend the scope to look it up. So this scope, actually, I modified a little bit and uh, uh, it works pretty good. Uh, so some people com are complaining because this scope is actually comes it's pretty flexible this uh, you know it's kind of yeah it's flexible so what I did I uh, used this wire just a piece of wire and I kind of you know ran that wire like a di this much like a foot whatever so uh, I, you know I put up against this you know cable on the scope and wrapped some this is kind of still in a in a in a uh, uh, experimental mode, so to speak, but you, got, you guys gonna have an idea. So basically, I got this wire around the cable and wrapped it up with electrical tape and put some uh, cable ties around just to make this part stiff. So uh, sorry. And then <clears throat> I used a uh, string. So what I did, this one end, I actually hook it up to, to the uh, to the head of this uh, of this camera. Okay, and I put a little bit of tape around as well. Now, like an inch or so from the base of the of the camera head, I've put a uh, I had this uh, wire uh, a spring from the uh, from the rear brakes that I did actually recently. So what I did, I cut this end off and I uh, bent you know bent this end just to make the eyelet and just kind of cut the access. So uh, this is what I this is what it looks like. So let's see here. The camera can come up. So that's pretty simple just a little eyelet so I can run my string through that okay so now what I can do I can you know insert the scope into the cylinder I'm sorry and then of course this string is long enough it's gonna you know it's gonna be outside of the cylinder and then once I now for this you wanna have of course still has to be at the top that center so you can have enough room to do it so once you get to the bottom of the uh, to the top of the of the of the piston uh, then you can actually pull the string and bend the scope all the way back and then you can literally look around and you know inspect your your valves uh, over the time what happens uh, as you see here this uh, you want this camera head to be flush with your with your cable uh, occasionally this this eyelet which kind of as you, as, you, as you move the scope inside the cylinder it's kind of is gonna push to the get pushed to the side and then the camera is gonna end up like this and then you can't see anything, you're just going to see the walls of the cylinder. Uh, so you have to kind of adjust it a little bit so that you, uh, I mean again this is just experimental but it does work pretty good actually. So you want to have the scope kind of in this in this position. So um, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing and then I'm going to get you guys on the on the camera and um, uh, on the monitor and then we'll see what how it works. So uh, so basically, I'm just going to take this, uh, you know, I got my spark plugs out, the coils out, and uh, so you're going to straighten the scope a little bit and uh, simply just, you know, put it into the cylinder. Another thing is actually nice, this you can actually, now you have to kind of play with it a little bit to get it to, uh, uh, 
you know sometimes you can't really see the edges of the piston with this one actually you can you can pull on the on the on the on the string and actually bend your your camera head so you can actually sweep around and look the uh, uh, look the piston as well so now as you can see I'm just you know putting my scope in it and once I get all the way to the bottom as I'm as I'm touching my my piston I'm just gonna pull this rope and I'm gonna and I'm just gonna fish it down and now I can invert my camera head and uh, basically I'm looking up so uh, and uh, to take it out, you just kind of have to be patient because it just takes a little bit of wiggling to um, don't just jerk it out and uh, you know take the uh, scope. Uh, so that's the that's the that's what I'm, system I'm using. It. So uh, let's uh, I'm gonna get you guys on the on the camera and uh, on, on the monitor so you can see actually what it looks like. Okay, well. Let's see what, what what we can do. So basically now I'm just going into the uh, you know got my spark plug removed. You can actually look around. It's actually the, it's a really uh, good the resolution on this uh, on this scope. I'm very impressed for 20 bucks. Uh, it's very very cool. So uh, going down, you can expect the threads on your. Uh, let's see right there. Now here goes uh, going to the. Uh, Cylinder and now we can just kind of sweep around to look the uh, look the piston and uh, and it's a, as I said, the resolution is actually impressive. I'm 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 very happy with it. Okay, so now the what, we, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go with my scope all the way to the bottom until I you know until the camera head touches the piston, and I'm going to start pulling my rope at my string and then I'm just kind of fish the uh, my, uh, you, you have to be away from the, this. This scope cannot really uh, uh, focus. It has to be at least a half an inch from you know whatever you're looking at. Uh, but right now you can see the valves. It's actually pretty cool. And I, I can bend this scope so much that I, we can actually see. I can actually <laughs> see that. Uh, I can see the uh, uh, my my spark plug hole. And uh, so this is my uh, uh, exhaust valve. This one, so this is a double head uh, cam, uh, so just kind of have to you now position your scope. There's the one exhaust valve, there's another. I have to kind of you know move your, your string, uh, you know, keep the tension, or loose, loosen the tension on it to get the uh, um, so there's another one. See that. Okay, and then I can go back. And all this time, I'm just kind of moving. As I said, I'm just moving my see as I as I move the string. See how that I can actually look the uh, see that right there. You can actually go all the way around at each valve and just inspect it. It's nice and easy. Just go back and forth, moving your camera head to. Uh, to see what you need to see. Okay, that's my one exhaust valve. Uh, I gotta go back all the way kind of around to get to another one. There's so this here's another one. And again, just kind of move your camera ahead to get yourself in a good position to get each each uh, valve. Okay, it's not a, it's not a perfect setup, but it does work. It just takes a little bit of patience. And you can expect all every single valve all the way around. That's it. You can uh, you can uh, run out to, to uh, the the cylinder walls, of course, because of the glare. You can it's kind of tough, but now you can kind of go all the way around. And see what your head is and start with it. Yeah, just okay. Well, that's. Uh, that's what I want to show you guys, and this really works. I'm very pleased the way the uh, this camera works. I mean, it's now um, you know I can use this setup if I'm looking for uh, if I'm looking for like oil leaks and things like that. You know, I can uh, uh, bend my my scope and. Uh, get into the tight spaces and uh, and uh, 
you know. So anyway, very easy. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Ooh. Got it. Okay. Uh, again, this is my uh, this is my setup. Very easy to make. Uh, just little eyelet. Secure the string to your uh, to the head of the camera, and just pull it all the way, and you can bend the scope. And as I said, as I'm as I'm inspecting the valves, you know you can actually you know increase and decrease the angle of your of your camera head as you as you turning around to inspect your your valves. And now you can see actually as I'm doing that now you can see my head is kind of pointed um, to the side a little bit. So you just have to kind of move this. Again, this is still experimental. I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, get it better but uh, it is now you can see it's, it's more straight this is what you want to have uh, to be uh, but you know you can see I me mean, I can bend as much that I can actually see my, my spark plug hole uh, no other scope can do that <laughs> so uh, that's it alright I mean it's pretty cheap uh, very effective uh, very easy to make uh, you know 20 bucks and another I don't know two three dollars to put all this together and uh, you get a very powerful diagnostic tool um, and uh, you want to do this on a cold engine I was playing with it yesterday uh, the engine was a little hot so the camera doesn't like the, the heat much so as I was going in and out you, know, you can see the camera had to get really heat up and it was kind of having like a like a red glare around the perimeter but uh, uh, on the cold engine actually looks pretty good and the resolution on this thing is really awesome I mean I, I I'm really uh, I'm amazed I really am for $20 uh, you can't go wrong uh, I like it so um, uh, okay I, I was actually I was hoping that I can upload this on my like on my my on my verdict this software I don't think I can do it uh, I would have, I would like to have you know a smaller monitor that can put it in the engine bay. I can I can do it on a laptop. I mean it's not a big deal, but uh, um, it is kind of annoying that you got to have a CD in a in a in a computer. If you guys know how to get this done, I, if somebody can make the video how to do the setup, I I would really like it. And the other thing that I can't I can't take the photo. I cannot record anything. I I have I haven't done it right. So, but at least I've done this part okay. So we can use it. Uh, we can. You know, modify the tool and and uh, uh, get you know more benefits out of it. So this is what I, I usually I have this motor scope. Uh, I one from uh, I think I I got it online. It's from AutoZone, and uh, I mean this is uh, uh, Actron actually, and and uh, I mean compared to this compared to the this uh, USB, I mean this this is junk. I mean you can't see. I mean you can see stuff, but this is ten times better, and uh, you know, of course, with the, with the biggest problem with these boroscopes, you know, they are stiff. They are okay, but you cannot bend it, you know, to, to see the um, uh, valves. Uh, so with this one, easy, very easy to to uh, uh, modify, and uh, you can see how clear it is. Get it all the way around, look all the valves. If you have a burnt valve or something like that, you know, and uh, now if you have a bent valve. You know, it might be a little tough to see it, but, uh, uh, you know, to see the, the damage on the valves, I think it, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty good. So, um, okay, guys, well, thank you for watching. And some, I hope somebody's going to play with this thing. It's, it's fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.